kaiju and kong lovers. This is Lagranzilla, and I am uh, showing you a kit that I built for a commission. One of my good clients uh, got a hold of me and he said he had gotten this kit on eBay and uh, asked me if I'd build it. Now, full disclosure, the client and I weren't aware for sure, we still aren't, but uh, on this kit I did notice that um, most Mirakami kits like this, resin kits, are very good castings, um, especially the newer ones. This one had a little bit of a roughness on the casting and, uh, and uh, lacked detail in some areas. And uh, so I asked him where he got it. He said eBay, and we looked online and at the um, at the seller, which I believe is a good seller in my experience. But it did say on there um, uh, replica resin, and anything that says something like that, usually it's recast resin, or it just says it's a recast. Um, I typically do not. Uh, do any business with recast kits because they're a form of pirating that is really hard on the original kit makers and it's very unfair to the sculptors because someone is buying a model kit, casting it, and then selling it usually at a low price, which is one way you can detect them, but this one was kind of a higher price, um, but for a recast anyway. So I'm not absolutely sure whether it's a recast, but it di did have a, a lot of lack of detail in some areas, and I did my best to paint it um, and do what I could with the uh, with what I had. And so, uh, for instance, on one side of the head, in the fur detail, it looks really light there a lot better on this side and the general fur detail is is not bad at all uh, but um, I had some areas here like on this foot that just had a big chunk on one side um, and uh, I don't know it just didn't look quite right to me and so <laughs> we're not real sure the only thing you could do is uh, contact the uh, the seller and just ask him if it was. But I want to just use the opportunity to say that I am totally against recast kits. And I don't have never knowingly built a recast kit. And uh and I won't. So if you ask me to build a kit and you know it's a recast, don't don't ask me. And please tell me if you do know you have a recast and don't try to fool me because when I look at it, I'll probably be able to tell. But uh, in this case, uh, my client in good faith bought it and uh, and then I already received it and started. Uh, another thing I had noticed about it is it was full of little pinholes. So it just wasn't a very well casted uh, model and not being able to compare it to the original it could just be an original and that the last time it was casted or that cast was not that great that does happen sometimes but uh, I built a lot of kits and there's all kinds of range of how well things are casted and you have air bubbles and you have little pinholes and you have lack of detail at different times um, but uh, but all in all I have to say that this is not well I say it was salvage if it is a recast I think it's pretty salvageable and it's not that bad I just feel bad for the original producer if it was so um, Apologies to that person uh, who sculpted it and um, and produced it if there are recasts out there that are being exploited.
be careful on eBay because they don't uh, have any problem selling recast kits. Uh, and the sellers that sell them most of the time either don't know, they weren't aware, and they're, they're not bad people. But some people, uh, usually they'll be from Thailand or China, uh, just buy kits and, and do this. And those are the people I mainly have a problem with. And uh, so this is just a good opportunity to talk about recasts since I came up against this here. So, I am a fan of the Murakami Kong kits. Um, Murakami's made a lot of uh, 62 Kongs and a couple uh, 67 Kongs, and I have a few of them. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, bye.